Hey guys, it's Rick at Elijah's Tooling. Give me two minutes of your time and make it worth it. Listen, um, we've talked about this little vice a lot, but I want to bring it up again because um, our guys love it. See this? It's not very heavy, uh, but it can do a lot of good work for you. It's a rugged device. And I remember how I came to the point that I wanted to develop this in the first place. I was walking through a customer's plant, a large aerospace company, and they pointed over to where they were running a competitor's dovetail vise. Now at the time, we didn't have one but uh, they mentioned that it wasn't very stable and I thought to myself you know what I think we can do better so what we did is we developed a device that that grips more material but creates a much more stable environment for you to use and uh, what we found in our own use of this vice is that it's a very robust very good vice to use there's some features about it that are unique and make it patent pending um, the fact that it can be used not just as a dovetail vise, but as a straight vise um, makes it important, uh, an important addition to the products that are out there in the world. As you can see, it has the take up holes for the invertible fastener, so it can be used in one of our modular fixtures and directly connected to the fixture without any bolts or clamps. Um, you can see that the pusher here has this gripper on the back which allows it to be used in tandem with other dovetail vices to be we can drive it from this side or this side and it can be used to, to uh, hold parts both as a straight vise or as a dovetail vise. This is reversible so we made it so you could take it out and reverse it if you wanted to. So it also has multiple location possibilities. We use the Zerts, the retractable dowel pins in here. So they come in and out. You can use a hole or a slot to locate here. And we also have an end stop. And these end stops can be used in one of four locations. The reason we have all those locations is because the vise can be used both here or on the other side. So that's something that's unique about it. What I'm going to do is we're going to marry this, uh, this video up with one in which this part was being machined. So I thought it would be cool just to kind of go through some of the features of this vise, load this part up on there, and then you can uh, watch the video in which this part was being machined. But uh, I think you'll be impressed with the vise. You can see. And of course, we can stop it against this edge if we want. Or we could have uh, uh, bored a hole in the bottom of this for location. Anyway, I think I might have done it in two minutes this time. So I appreciate you. See you next time.